And welcome back to Ramadan Reflections. Today as we continue in this blessed month of Ramadan on the fifth day, we turn our focus to yet another verse of the Noble Quran in which we have a glimpse at the altruism and the generosity of the commander of the faithful. In Surah Al-Insan Ad-Dahr, chapter number 76, verse 8, Allah says the following, They give food however great be their need for it, with pleasure to the destitute and the orphan and the war captive. This verse holds profound significance in the context of Imam Ali salam and his exemplary life and the teachings that he has given to us. And this verse and this chapter actually is something which every Muslim and human being, regardless of their faith, can learn from and implement in their lives. What is the story, however, behind the revelation of this entire chapter? And as we zoom in on it, this particular verse? Well, in a touching narration, Ibn Abbas, the famous commentator and companion of the Prophet, he recounts an incident where both Hassan and Hussein, the two beloved grandsons of the Prophet Muhammad, may God bless him and his family, where they fell ill. The Prophet, along with his companions, visited the two young children in the city of Medina. And he suggested that Imam Ali, peace be upon him, make an oath for their recovery, take a, uh, a promise to God that if something happens, if they're cured, that he would do something. Now, such oaths we know are common in Islamic culture that a person will do a certain task if and when Allah fulfills their needs. And perhaps this is something that you yourselves have carried out. So the historians say that Imam Ali, peace be upon him, along with Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, and their maid Fidda, that they vowed to fast for three days if the children were healed. Miraculously, through Allah, the children recovered, and despite the family's scarce resources, as they had promised, they prepared to fast for three days, knowing that they would be only able to break their fast with whatever they had available at home. Each day of the fast, as they proceeded to eat dinner at the time of Maghrib, someone would present themselves at their door. They would be a poor person one day, an orphan the second day, and a war captive prisoner, and that too, a non-Muslim enemy combatant, came asking for food. As they had promised Allah, they gave away their meager bread and this little food they had to the needy, breaking their fast with only water for three straight days. Witnessing their selflessness and sacrifice, the Prophet was deeply moved. As a result, the angel Jibra'il, peace be upon him, brought down a revelation extolling the family and the virtues of this noble family. The same revelation that we are reading and discussing today found in Surah Al-Insan, chapter 76. Now, this incident ex exemplifies the profound devotion and altruism of Imam Ali, of Fatima al-Zahra, and Hassan and Hussein, peace be upon them, setting an enduring example for generations to come. It shows us that they were so devoted to Allah that when He fulfilled what they needed, they in turn fulfilled what they had kept as a promise to Allah. Not only did Allah reveal one or two verses about them actually, but the bulk of this chapter speaks directly about their actions, with Imam Ali, peace be upon him, being at the pinnacle of this, being the head of the family and the household. Now throughout his entire life, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, was renowned for his paralleled generosity and his compassion towards the less fortunate, Muslim or non-Muslim. And this verse reflects the core principles of charity and altruism that he championed throughout his life and that he wants you and I to also follow as his devotees. Imam Ali alayhi salam, his commitment to feeding the needy, which includes the destitute, the orphans, the war captives. This epitomizes the spirit of selflessness and humanitarianism advocated by the Quran. He emphasized the importance of caring for the marginalized and vulnerable members of society, embodying the Quranic injunction 
to provide for those in need. And this was even seen during the brief caliphate in which he even showed great concern for the Christians of his nation. As much as he was able to do during the 23 years that he was denied his right to lead, the, denied the caliphate, and obviously through his tenure as the caliph, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, established numerous initiatives to alleviate poverty and hunger, ensuring that no individual in the community went without food or sustenance. His benevolent actions reflect the essence of this Quranic verse, where giving food to the needy is done with joy, without hesitation, regardless of one's own personal needs. Imam Ali salam, and his emphasis on feeding the hungry, it extends beyond mere provision to encompass the quality of compassion and empathy. He believed in serving others with a sense of joy and fulfillment, recognizing the inherent dignity of every human being. Even as I said, the event where he recognized the dignity and respect of a non-Muslim in his domain. In essence, the verse from the Quran today highlights the importance of charitable giving and compassion towards the less fortunate. Values that Imam Ali, peace be upon him, so epitomized throughout his life. His profound commitment to feeding the needy serves as a timeless example of selflessness and humanitarianism, humanitarianism, inspiring generations of Muslims to emulate his noble deeds. Now, although the name of Imam Ali, again, is not directly mentioned in the Quran, nor even in this verse we are reviewing today, nor the entire chapter of Surah Al-Insan, that's where the beauty of the hadith come into play. Given that Prophet Muhammad, may Allah bless him and his family, and the Imams of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, are the rightful interpreters of the Quran, we must go to their door of guidance to see how they explain the verses of the Quran. In looking at the verse under review for today, we come across the following narration, which adds much more clarity to this verse. What does this hadith say? Well, it comes to us from Ibn Abbas, the famous commentator, the very famous companion of the Prophet, the cousin of the Prophet, actually. And in regards to the verse of Allah, and they give food in spite of love for it. Chapter 76, verse 8, he says, This verse was revealed concerning Ali and Fatima. They had three loaves of bread in the morning. And they fed a person, a poor person, an orphan, and a captive. They spent the nights hungry, and this verse was revealed regarding them. Let us now come to some practical tips from the topic of today for our Ramadan reflection, as well as a closing reflection and a final thought to end the blessed day of month of Ramadan that we are going through. Point number one is real perfection through kindness. True perfection is achieved when kindness becomes an integral part of a person's character. This concept of perfection of character is, is exemplified in the actions of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, and his family. As indicated by Allah in this verse using present tense verbs, signifying the continuity of the benevolent deeds of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. Number two is the value of giving to others when we are in need. Acts of feeding and spending hold greater value when the recipient genuinely needs the assistance and the giver is also in genuine need for what they are about to give to the needy. Imam Ali, peace be upon him, and his family are renowned for their generosity, often giving to others despite facing their own challenges. Number three and the last point of reflection is pure motivation and sincerity. The true value of actions lies in the purity of motivation and sincerity in the deeds exemplified by the statement of this verse that we feed you for the sake of God, neither seeking neither reward nor thanks from you. This underscores the selflessness and humility of the righteous. They don't seek gratitude or praise for their benevolent actions. Throughout his life, Imam Ali, peace be upon him, acted with selfless, selflessness and covered his good deeds. However, as Allah has appreciated his selfless efforts, Allah has magnified them and shared them with the entire world within the Qur'an. As a point of a closing reflection and conclusion, the legacy of Imam Ali, peace be upon him, and his family serves as a timeless example of selfless giving and compassion. Their unwavering commitment to serving others without expectation of reward or recognition epitomizes the essence of true righteousness and perfection. As a final thought, let's draw inspiration from their noble example and strive to emulate the virtues of kindness, generosity, 
and sincerity in our own lives, thereby contributing to a more compassionate and a more harmonious society for all, Muslim and non-Muslim alike. Until tomorrow and another day of Ramadan in our Ramadan Reflection Series, we leave you with the words of peace. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.